But right now I'm trying to get my um I've had a lot of trials and tribulations. I've had a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of confusion, a lot of obstacles, but I've also had a lot of opportunities. I've had a lot of um, optimism over the years as well. What motivates me to keep going and not giving up? Do you miss your clothing store? Why YouTube? Okay guys, this is like a random intro, but not the official intro. Right now I'm trying to get my um, little TikTok station set up and for my little sit down that I'm gonna be doing on this video. I'm a mess right now, my shirt is dirty and my room is actually a mess. But I'm gonna get it all cleaned up here shortly. Just wanna hop in here because I do want to kind of show you guys a before and after of this wall. Right now I just have um, one tapestry up, but I have three more to add. And I may also do this wall right here as well. Excuse this light. I broke the ceiling fan light like I told you guys last time. Hey man, I had to improvise. I need to get white lights, but right now they're yellow. I haven't gone anywhere in a couple of days. So yeah, this is my life right now. And I'm okay with it. I'm pretty content. But yeah, um, stay tuned so I can show you this wall or this corner once it's finished. And then we will hop into the video with the 25 questions. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is the official intro. So as I showed you guys before, I was doing a little, trying to do some cool tapestries or something, and I didn't really get to get as creative as I thought I'd be able to, but I'm still, you know, I'm okay with it. I don't really mind too much. But let's get into what you guys are all here for, all three of you. So I'm going to be doing 25 questions. Um, I put out a little questionnaire on Instagram and also Snapchat. And I have a little over 25 questions, but I'm going to go through them and see which ones I want to answer and see how long each one takes me because I don't want this video to be too long, but I do want you guys to get to know me a little bit better. Sorry if this camera is lopsided. Um, and if you didn't notice until I said that, sorry. I have my iPad here, which is what has the questions on it. So I'm going to go ahead and read the questions and then I'm going to try and read their names and where the question was from. Um, I took screenshots and everything, but I may butcher some names or I may have not put where they were from. So I'm going to try my hardest, but let's jump right into it. Again, if you are new here, my name is B Yellow. Thank you so much for joining me. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you do like this video, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up as well. And also don't forget to turn on your post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. That way you are notified every time that I upload a new video. So let's jump right into it. And the first question that I'm going to go with is, where are you located? And this is from, uh, I don't know if it's Mika or Micah, but Snapchat. So where am I located? I'm located in Columbus, Ohio. So that is currently where I am, Columbus, Ohio. Um, if some of you have been following me for a little bit, you know that I was in California at one point. Um, in Indiana at one point, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Los Angeles, Newport Beach, um, kind of all over, but right now I am currently in Columbus, Ohio. Next question, where are you from? And this is from David on Instagram. I am from um, Ohio. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. From like sixth grade to like sixth grade until I was like 21, I lived in this like little town called Galloway, Ohio. Um, but yeah, that's where... I'm from and that's where I live. So this next question is, are you still into the whole plant business as a side hustle or over time, let it phase out and focus on other things? I am always supportive of what you do be. And this is from C on Snapchat. So yeah, I still have my online plant store. I still do plant services and plant consultations. I just don't have a physical plant store location. I get this question probably every day from friends, from family, from people online. I still do plants, I just don't have a physical location. Um, more than half of you have never been to my store. So the store was there, but people weren't really coming. Online does better for me and I wanna move more into social media, but I'm always gonna love plants and I'm always gonna have an online plant store. I pay for it yearly. I just paid my dues again. So plant store is still there. Any plant questions, let me know. Um, I'm not a plant 
content person, but I do happen to own a plant store and I do love plants. So hopefully that answers your question and anyone else's question about my whole plant journey. The next question says, why YouTube? And this is from Ashley on Instagram. Why YouTube? So I've actually been doing YouTube probably since like 2015, 16. If you go back on my channel, you'll see some of my older videos. And even before then I was doing videos. I just was never as consistent as I am now. But to answer your question, I'm a big fan of YouTube. All I watch is YouTube vlogs, YouTube videos. And I've always been interested in doing it. I've had a camera for about eight years and then TikTok members or family, subscribers, followers, whatever you want to call them. My TikTok family actually got me this new camera and it's just kind of inspired me to do more and now I get to do it full time so I'm excited. But um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question about why YouTube. The next question, do you miss your clothing store? And this is from Juan on Instagram. I do miss it. Um, I miss my clothing store boutique probably every day. I'm getting back into fashion now as we speak with the clothing line, so stay tuned for that. But yes, I miss my clothing store so much. Next question, what motivates you to keep going and not giving up? This is from Rel, which is a personal friend of mine, more like family, and um, this was from Instagram. What motivates me to keep going and not giving up? Um, I'm a big believer and a big sayer that I was never taught what to do, just what not to do. No one has ever led me by example. They just kind of show me what not to do because by doing that, you're not going to get anywhere. So I would say my biggest motivation is myself. Um, I want better. I want more not only for myself, but for my friends and my family. Um, and I've also taught myself what not to do and what to do and what works and what doesn't work. So I would say I motivate myself and just to keep going. Um, I've had a lot of trials and tribulations. I've had a lot of ups, a lot of downs, um, a lot of confusion, a lot of obstacles, but I've also had a lot of opportunities. I've had a lot of um, optimism over the years as well. And I just, I don't give up. If you know me, that's one thing you know about me is that I don't give up. Um, I just keep going, honestly, I just keep going. Next question, biggest ick, and this is from Tyler on Instagram. My biggest ick is probably, I don't know, picking one is kind of hard. Um, probably liars is a big ick of mine. And then also, yeah, I would say liars. That's a big ick for me. Um, just liars, manipulators. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. Biggest pet peeve from Alan on Instagram. My biggest pet peeve, Alan, is definitely hearing people chew their food. Um, I'm not a fan, so I can't even watch YouTube where people are eating. Like, I'll literally fast forward or skip because I just do not like hearing it or seeing it. Like if you can ask my mom, if you're eating and trying to talk to me and you can't do it, I don't want to listen to it. Like if you can eat and, you know, properly, properly hold a conversation and speak, you know, well enough, fine, I'll deal with it. But if you eat food and I can't understand you, like I'll walk away. Like I just, I can't do it. I'll hang up the phone. I just can't do it. So that's probably my biggest pet peeve. Definitely. Next question. Oh, oh my God. I got confused. The next question is, do you have a pet? I was like, wait, was that the other question? Do I have a pet? No, only my plants. This is my newest pet here. But other than that, no, I don't have any, I don't have any pets at the moment. Are you single? Oh wait, sorry. Do you have a pet was by BV1189 on Snapchat. This next question is, are you single? If so, why? And this is Jose on Instagram. Are you single? Yes, I am single. Why are you single? Um, I don't know, I guess. Maybe I'm people's biggest ick. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't figured out why I'm single. I've been single for four years now. Um, I just think it's a location thing. Also, people really can't hold conversations. And like today, I'm on a um, like a dating app. And someone says, hey. I say, hey, how are you? And then they say, how are you? 
And I'm just like, what? How, what? How, how are you was the question. And they say, LOL, I'm good. So then I'm like, okay, I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Then they say, you're fine. I literally say, what am I supposed to do with that information? Dead ass serious. Like, what do you want me to do with that? Like, I'm, what? 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 Have I said that before to people? Probably so, but I follow up with something else. I don't just drop that and want a response. Like, that's weird. Anyway, next question. One cringe about dating or getting to know someone. Janet on Instagram. Hmm. I would say one cringe thing is, is like when you don't really know who's going to pay for dinner, especially in my type of a situation, um, that could be cringy where you're both just there. So normally I'll just pay and then when they don't say thank you, that is another cringy thing for me. That just turns me off instantly. Um, I'm so big on like manners and just respect in general. So when people don't say thank you, that just really like irks me and like makes me cringe and like I'm just over it at that point. Like if you don't say thank you on the very first date, then yeah, I don't, I don't know. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't. That's, that's cringy to me. I can't do it. And that's also an ache and a pet peeve. So yeah, it's all three out the window, over it, donezo. Don't want it, can't do it. Yeah, don't want it. Next question, any New Year's resolution, and this is from Israel on Snapchat. New Year's resolution for me would definitely be just to be more consistent and to do things that I want to do and not care about what people think. Um, everyone's going to have an opinion. Everyone's going to voice their opinion. But a lot of people also project how they feel about themselves onto you. And I understand that now more and more over the years. So opinions never really matter to me, but words do hurt. So it's not their opinion that affects me. It's more or less like their words that are directed towards me. And it makes me think, well, wow, if that's how you feel about me, then like, you know, it's just weird. So I would say that would be my new year resolution for sure. Next question. What are you most proud of in this moment? And that is by Craig on Snapchat. What am I most proud of in this moment? Probably doing this video in this moment because I started asking people to ask me questions yesterday and I asked again today like a follow-up and I'm actually doing it today. So I'm proud of that in this moment in time. Um, yeah, I would say that's what I'm proud of, Craig from Snapchat. Who was your biggest inspiration and this is from Hannah on snapchat my biggest inspiration I don't know I feel like I have a lot of people that inspire me but my biggest inspiration at this moment in time is actually this guy named Ulysses he's a barber he's an inspirational speaker he's a vlogger he's a content creator and I actually found him from his wife they have a YouTube channel together and just the way he speaks, the way he's so transparent, like, um, he got, like, veneers, he got hair transplant. He's okay with, like, hiring help, getting help. He's okay with loving on his wife and his kids. And he's okay, like, just being himself. And, like, that to me is inspiring. I actually uh, responded to one of his snaps today, and he responded to me. And it's not the first time he's responded to me either. And the fact that he's so big and so successful and still responds to like, you know, his supporters and followers. That is really inspirational too. What was the question? Yeah, what is your biggest inspiration? So I would say he is, him, his success, his family. Um, I'm just a big fan, honestly. Just seeing his growth too from like over the past like eight years, like it's so insane that you can be, that you can do that and like just to show that is just awesome. And I wanna be that for somebody too. Rather, it's my nephew, my brother, um, strangers. Like, I just want to be that, and that inspires me. And yeah, that's my biggest inspiration, I would say, for sure. The next question is, what color are your underwear? I think they meant, what color is your underwear? And this is from BJ4UK on Snapchat. Look at this. My Somebody underwear. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. 
Money are white. Yeah. Next question. What size shoe do you wear? And this is from Lauren on Snap. Um, I wear size 11. Sometimes I have to go up a half size. But size 11. I have a wider foot. So size 11. Size 11 and a half. Your most favorite gift of 2023 and the best gift you gave Jessica on Instagram. My favorite gift of 2023 is actually how you guys are seeing this video. It's my camera from my TikTok family. Thanks again, everybody, so much for helping me get this camera. I love it. It's, I'm using it. That's my favorite gift that I've received. Um, my best gift giving out or favorite gift giving out, probably plants to all of my lovely supporters. Um, they would like buy a plant, I would give them plants and like giving plants to customers at the store, just gifting some life to people. I think that has been a joy for me for sure. Um, yeah, I would say that for sure. How did you get into plants? And this is from Justin on Instagram. Um, I've probably told this story a hundred times, but basically I had a clothing store in Cincinnati. I made friends with the, one of the shop owners a few doors down. She owned a jewelry store with a plant store, like kind of all in one. I got three plants one day. I got a fiddly ficus tree. I got a lemon or fiddly ficus tree, ficus lorata, whatever, a lime tree and a, f and a monstera. And ever since then, I just fell in love with plants. I just started going crazy with plants. Next question. What is your favorite plant? And this is from Kyle on Instagram. Um, my favorite plant, like that I own, or in general, that I own right now, probably this one that I just got, which is the Ring of Fire Philodendron. Um, sorry if my lips are ashy. I didn't bring any chapstick over here. Favorite plant in general? Definitely, I would just say Monstera species in general is my favorite plants. Um, Esquilito, Thai Constellation, Albo. I love those plants so much. How did you start loving plants? Just answer that question. You like cologne, I saw. What is your favorite cologne? And this is from Sky on Instagram. I would say Sky, my favorite cologne right now is, well, not right now, I love all my colognes, but I would say off the top of my head that I recommend everybody to get, maybe the Gucci Guilty. I don't know if there's different types or not, but the Gucci Guilty is a really good one. I'll put like a photo up of the one that I have and that I love, that way you guys know. But yeah, Gucci Guilty for sure. Next question, and this one is a good one. One regret, Ashley on Instagram. One regret for me is a big one actually, is moving my ex to California with me. So many setbacks. My friend told me not to do it. My brain told me not to do it, but my heart said do it. What can you lose? And I lost everything. So that's a regret for sure. For sure, but I'm over it. I lost so much, man. Like it took away like three years from me too. I've been single for three years. And I feel like these three years have been me rebuilding myself. Um, just like in every aspect of rebuilding yourself has been these past three years. And yeah, that would be, I would say my biggest regret, honestly. Um, that person cheated on me, I walked in on it. And I caught that person on like different apps, bunch of stuff. If you guys want a story time on that, let me know because your boy, was a simp your boy made some mistakes and he stayed around and got manipulated and yeah I, I went through it like i went through it like my story is crazy but i made it out and i'm still here and i like i told you guys i don't give up i keep going so but yeah that's my biggest regret um ashley who are you christian from snap who am i I'm me, um, I'm a little bit of everyone and not so much of everyone. Um, I'm pieces of my family, I'm pieces of my friends, I'm pieces of, you know, entertainment, I'm pieces of everything. Um, so who am I? I'm pieces of me. Like who, who said that? Ashley Simpson. Pieces, pieces, pieces of me. 
Ashes of Unsaid, Pieces of Me. And that's literally who I am. I'm just pieces of myself. Um, my mind changes, my heart changes, my body changes. Um, I'm just pieces of myself, pieces of everybody else. Bar. No, but really, I'm just pieces of myself. Really, truly, honestly, honestly. All right, next. That's probably 25 questions. I should have, like, there's no way to number. Oh, I could have done screenshots and wrote on them. Oh, well. If you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? And this is from Yana, I believe you pronounce it, on Instagram. If I could go anywhere right now, where would I go? I would go back in time. I would go back in time. Definitely. My stomach's growling. I haven't eaten all day and it is 5.02. Well, I had two cookies. If you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? I already did that. That was awkward. A few moments later. Do you miss anyone or anything right now? Deshaun on Instagram. Do you miss anything or anyone right now? I miss my wallet that I that somebody pickpocketed me from um, about eight months ago at the International Food Market. I miss my wallet. It was very expensive and it was my pride and joy because somebody pickpocketed me with it before in Cincinnati in 2017 and I got myself a new one in 2020 and then I lost it in 2023. So yeah, that's what I miss. California or Ohio? And this is from Jason on Instagram. Mm, California, definitely. How are you from Sky on Instagram? You know, I'm pretty good. I am pretty good. Could life, or could I be better? Definitely, but I'm good. You don't have to worry about me, I'm good. What's your sexual <laughs> What's your sexual orientation? My sexual orientation is And if you guys want my coming out story, let me know. It's pretty cute actually. It's a cute story. And that's from Javier and that's Instagram. Last one. <laughs> no, we're going to end with that. But thank you guys so much for watching 25, well, 25 plus questions with B. I appreciate you joining and watching this video. As always, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Um, but thank you for watching. And I hope that you guys are liking my consistency, posting like at least twice a week, I wanna say. you're enjoying my consistency and don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat and tiktok always below in the description but it's also at be yellow i'll put it here on the screen as well but thank you so much for watching and if i didn't answer your question i'm so sorry but yeah i'm sorry if you have any other questions though feel free to leave them down in the comment section and if you have any suggestions on videos that i should do let me know below in the comment section but again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.